what is up my dudes i am out of breath right now sorry i don't know why i just am and i'm really 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 tired i'm going on two hours of sleep um so and i'm babysitting today so anyways i'm tired um so it's another story time um a special one again though ghost story time and i know you guys love that this one's a little mixture though of just like the mystical and the ghost world, I guess you could say, which they go hand in hand, but um, you'll see. Anyways, here it goes. So, um, the first thing I want to say is recently on Facebook, I posted on a bunch of groups, like local groups, <laughs> that I am an empath and a medium. Like, I'm able to, you know, an empath, you can sense people's emotions and energies, and I know how to, like, do cleansings and chakra balancing um things like that help people heal over like deeply buried traumas and stuff um and as the medium thing goes it's that's not a choice okay i have always been able to see ghosts uh most of you guys already know this there are some new new people uh coming along to my channel and i want to say hi and thank you and uh you probably will be disappointed <laughs> Okay, I hope not, it's really, I don't know. <laughs> we're just gonna, yeah, it's, it's awkward, so we're just gonna go, we're just gonna go with it, okay? So, anyways, um, so I posted that, you know, that I could do readings for people to help them, and I could, um, you know, like, do ghost hunting, like, if people needed proof, uh, like, evidence and stuff like that, uh, in their homes, uh, or if they needed, uh, their homes cleansed or themselves cleansed or anything like that readings um and so um most of what i've done so far actually 99.9% .9 .9 of what i've done so far is has been done for free so but i don't regret it because i really have helped some people and um it just started off like with them asking me like a question or something because they were like oh my god i'm so glad i finally found somebody like you and so, when I heard that quite a few times recently, it made me realize that I did not make a mistake by posting that. I, there is over 177 comments on um, one of the Facebook groups uh, on the, my post because there were so, there were so many jerks, you know, like preaching at me and all kinds of stuff, but there was even double the amount of supporters and people that had my back or even people even skeptics that were like you know what don't listen to those jerks they shouldn't shove their beliefs down your throat that's not okay so i was happy about that and i have had it probably at least 30 people that want to set up a reading or cleansing or like um uh just filling out their home for like ghosts or spirits energies whatever and they want uh so about probably around 30 um that i'll be doing after christmas so um i'm excited about that i do wish it had been before because I'm struggling right now um but that is a whole nother story in itself okay so where was that um so uh yeah i'm really excited about about all that um but this week I have been, you know, helping some people with some random questions and stuff. Um, where they had nowhere else to turn. And this town is really hardcore, like, Republican and Christian. And I believe in God. I love God. And I'm not going to get into religious stuff right now. But people are, like, accusing me of worshiping other gods and stuff like that. And I'm just like, you know, I'm not perfect. Anyway, so, so... Um, what's really cool, though, about the whole thing, uh, 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 yeah, uh, okay, um, <coughs> yeah, mama, I know what the coffee looks like, I buy it every month. Mom, okay, you're supposed to be texting this to me. You're supposed... <clears throat> Mom, 
Oh my, I don't care what it looks like anymore. Mama, you're supposed to be texting this to me. But I already know what this stuff looks like. I don't know, probably. I know what those look like too. Mama, I know it. Yeah. It's a dark roast. It's not speaking. Yes, everybody's fine. Okay. Love you too. Bye. Uh, I thought I would add that in there because while I was in the middle of recording, my mother called and yeah, I know I've complained about her before. She it's so OCD, but it's not just even OCD anymore. It's just so much more to it. And she knows what she's doing. And she is just literally, like, she treats everybody like they're dumb. This is why my dad and her fought all the time. Because she's always telling us things and how to do things and how things look and, and, you know, if it's not done her way, oh my god, she's already texting me after I just got off the phone with her. And he couldn't take it. You know, like, my dad was just like, he, he would always yell back at her, like, honey, I'm not stupid. You know, and she's like, I'm not trying to say you're stupid. I'm not, that's not what I mean. And it's like, well, then stop treating him like he is. Well, now that they're divorced, after 18 wonderful years of my childhood gone, <laughs> uh, she does this to me now. And she's been doing it to me since she had my little sister. And I was 16 when she got her. And my mom has used me as her freaking work slave. And, like, mental and verbal punching bag. You know, like, her... And my husband are probably the only ones that they can push me, push my buttons so much so that I would go, over, you know, that I could go over the edge. And, I mean, I haven't in a very long time. Um, I, you know, you guys know that I used to be a cutter and uh, for 20 years. And um, it's not their fault. But if any of you guys know what triggers are like, you know that there are things that are going to trigger you. Especially, you know, when you have mental health problems that are going untreated and unnoticed and unaccepted. And um, I now notice mine and I accept it and I take care of myself mentally. And I do stand up for myself. Oh my God, she's texting me again. She literally won't even wait. Oh my God. Uh, okay, were you able to get a cig? If I got a cigarette, I would have smoked it before I got home. Not like, And then she can't wait no more than three minutes. And then she says, Amy. Okay, this so says Amy like that, right? I know her. And I know that she has that sound to Amy. That's how she says it. So let's see. I got a text back. No, I did not. I just no. She'll text again, though. She texts me links to pro-Trump stuff all the time and um, the apocalypse stuff all the time and conspiracy theories. Now, it, they're... Uh, okay. Anyways, this video went somewhere different, but you know what? I'm not going to delete it because I like it. And I think you guys get to see another part of me and you get to see kind of like what I go through and how hard it is for me to, to hold on to my own sanity, um, it's not easy, but I do it, um, and I do feel a little crazy, and over, 
overwhelmed sometimes and it's mostly because of her she is living with us now so <laughs> and you know and we live with my mother-in-law my husband's mom so we have both of our moms there making us feel like we're kids like they literally treat us like we are children and we're both almost 40 years old like come on You know, I because the way my mom always treated me, I, I made sure to never treat my kids that way. You know, they are now 18 and 15, and I've always treated my kids like adults, like, you know. And I, I was grateful for the wisdom that they always had because they were, even as little kids, they always had something very wise to say. And they were just very, um, they are very kind-hearted, and they just, they're wonderful, wonderful human beings. I couldn't ask for better, you know, offspring. <laughs> so, anyways, where was I? I don't want to make this too long, so let me try to figure out, like, what else to add to this video, because I don't think I'm going to continue to go in the direction that we had started, because it's already over 11 minutes now, and, ugh. So, anyways, um, I'll save the ghost stuff for tomorrow, okay? So, I'll finish with the whole readings. And I, I did a reading last night for this girl and was asking some questions about a loved one that had passed away and stuff like that. Um, and then, at the beginning of it, actually, I, I see I was writing, like, um, I do... it. it it's not always automated writing that which is where you allow like a spirit to write through you sometimes I just write because as I'm tapping into their energy and or emotions um, things like my hand will just go you know write down some like thoughts and notes things that things that stick out to me you know about them and I've been right a lot so um when I'm distracted and not focused, I can be wrong. Anybody that has any kind of supernatural or like spiritual ability like this, you have to make sure you're focused and you're you're charged yourself. Like your own energy is clean uh, or cleansed. I mean, and um, refreshed. You know, because if you're tired and wore down and mentally uh, overwhelmed and stuff you're not you might not be able to focus unless you can meditate and pray and stuff so anyways that's what i try to do is like meditate and pray so um at the beginning of this reading i got this warning that said issued warning like i literally just wrote that down and i did not even know why and below it i had already wrote a road or wrote <laughs> okay let's... oh um i wrote a, the word road or rodeo question mark I wasn't sure which one and it was right below where I wrote issued warning and I put it I, I, I told the girl about it you know I said just be careful when you're driving because um, I'm not sure you know about the specifics of this warning you know so at the end um, I'm telling her like you know a couple last things and I'm encouraging her you know, uh, mental health and uh, spiritual health and stuff like that. Telling her that, you know, take good care of herself mentally and spiritually. And, um, you know, that she's going to do great in life, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then I, I was like, I, I told her, I said, I've got one more thing to tell you. But I don't, I, I can't point out what it is. And I don't know why I'm feeling like this. Like, ah. And she was like. Oh, man, I hope you can figure out what it is. Now, I don't know this girl, and I didn't um, know that she lived in the same town as I did. I thought she might, you know, because I post it on just, like, local groups. But I've had a, a people, you know, message me from surrounding counties, so they weren't all from my county. Anyways, um, at the end... I don't, and I'm typing her. This is all over Messenger. I suddenly, after I said something, I had something to tell her. I suddenly typed out. I don't even remember my hands typing this out. It happened all so fast. I say, stay away from highway blank. I'm not going to give away, like, information about 
any, you know, like where I'm close to. But okay, so anyways, I said stay away from Highway Blank. And it is a very dangerous highway. Uh, I actually had an ex-boyfriend when we were dating. Uh, when I was like 13, his uh, older brother got killed on this highway from a car wreck. And it was, it was pretty terrible. So anyways, I said stay away from uh, Highway Blank this Saturday. Like, that's how specific I was. And she texted back and said, seriously? And I said, yeah, I, th I think so. And she says, I'm supposed to go to family's house this Saturday. And that's the road we always take to get there. On Saturday. Like, I'm going this Saturday. And I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> you know, like... So, she was like, I'm really shook right now, you know, and I'm just like, you know, <laughs> me too. So, I just told her, I said, if you can, you know, I, I know that area very well. So, I was like, take the back roads um, from this point. I gave her a point A to a point B. I was like, try to steer clear of this area of that highway and pray before you leave. And I said, and please do me a favor. And she was like, yeah, what's that? I said, Please message me when you get back home over the weekend to let me know you made it back home safely. Like, I don't know this girl personally, but now I'm invested, you know, and I'm just like, I gotta make sure she's okay. And then today, um, I actually had my first paying customer, and uh, I had to read her over the phone, and um, she, uh, it, that one was... It, I started off kind of rocky because I forgot to pray and stuff. And plus, I was caught off guard. I wasn't expecting anyone. I We had just got here to babysit this morning. And I wasn't expecting someone to call, you know, and want a phone uh, reading. And I did it. And uh, a few minutes into it, I started hitting the nails right on the head, man. And um, I'm not always perfect or anything like that. But I got... I ended up, she ended up crying, and that's when you know, as a empath, or medium, or psychic, whatever you may be, when the person that you're reading starts crying, that's when you know that, that you did what they're, you know, you did good, you did good by them, that's, that's what they're paying you for, is to get things so correct, that it floors them, and it had something to do with some past loved ones, and I literally knew the name of her dad without even having to guess. Like, because I was just like, I didn't know it was her dad at first. Like, um, I was just like, blank. I said the name out loud, you know, blank. And she was like, oh. And we were just talking about her brother previously. So it was like, he was like, I'm not going to go into detail about all of it because I, that, like I said, I'm not, uh, I've told everybody, you know, it's confidential. So if anybody here, like, if you guys want a reading, um, just, you know, send a message below, and then I'll, like, send you, I'll message you my phone number or whatever. Now, my phone number is on those posts on uh, Facebook and those local groups and whatnot. Uh, but I don't want to, like, put it out on YouTube and stuff like that and Twitter because there's so many, I don't know. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, I have had a couple creeps call me or message me, but, you know, I don't want to make it worse. So just, like, comment below and then I will like private message you my uh, phone number so I can then give you a reading and we can figure out a way I'm still trying to figure out how to do payments over the phone um, like today I'm meeting this girl um, after work uh, and she's gonna because we live in the same the, not the girl from last night that one was free but the one from today she's the one that's paying me and um, uh, meeting her. She does live in my town. So, um, or close or something. I don't know. F I'm, re I'm rambling now. So, I am getting paid today. And it's only $20 for a reading. Because I don't want to be like all those other, you know, people out there. A lot of them are fakes, too, you know. They just tell you what they think you want to hear. But by the time you're done, you realize that all they've really said is, your loved ones miss you and they're in a good place and they're proud of you now they do say that sometimes people's loved ones do say that they're proud of them especially if they've overcome something you know like i did have that happen today where the 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 um the dead 
um, the spirit was like, you know, I'm very proud of her and for what she's done. And he went into detail, you know, so I was just like, okay, cool. So anyways, this is already 20 minutes. My God, I am still having more haunting stuff going on at my house. Uh, I have actually stopped talking to the stuff out there. I have stopped asking questions. I've stopped doing easy peas. My husband and my mom both begged me to stop. And so, uh, after something chased my dog the other night, and I seen it, it was four feet away from me. I was recording when it happened, but it was dark. So, because I was just doing EVPs, I wasn't worried about uh, the visual at the time. I was just worried about getting audio. And then all of a sudden, here comes Coda running right dead at me. And at first, when he was a little distance off, I thought he was chasing something. But the closer he got to me, I see this big ass beige colored no tail looking weird thing chasing him it gets about they both get i mean he's right on coda's tail too and they get about four feet away from me and coda like veers off that way so he doesn't run dead into me because he was right dead at me and then um the thing behind him veered off to the left into the woods because i'm standing right by the woods right where that little skinwalker thing nest or whatever i don't know what he does so yeah i was like oh great so i mean i've seen its physical form before a few times and i'm not the only one out there that has there's been quite a few of us and people that have visited that have seen it so uh if you look up skinwalkers on youtube there's a lot of info out there on it i always thought i was alone in this I, I didn't even know what it was for a long time. I didn't have a name for it. And I like listening to creepy pastas at night to go to sleep to. And sometimes during the day. So I was listening to one one day and I found out, uh, you know, they started describing what it was. And then I started researching it, the Native American uh, lore of it all. And I was just like, oh my God. <laughs> you know, I was like, I know what this is now, man. Oh my goodness. But anyways, I really hope this video was interesting. Because I feel now like it probably just sucked. <laughs> I'm sorry. It probably really did. <laughs> I'm terrible. Anyway, subscribe if you guys are new. And if you haven't subscribed yet, just, you know, go ahead and just go click that button. What have you got to lose, man? I mean, you might lose your sanity. But I'm here to welcome you into the fold. Into my merry band of misfits, man. <laughs> So, dudes and misfits and black sheep and eyeball and all you awesome people out there, subscribe. Hit the thumbs up button because the thumbs down is just boring. <laughs> like, like he's 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 the bully. Like you, you know, it's like you don't want to mess with the bully. So hit the thumbs up because the thumbs up is a motivational speaker. Am I high right now? Is this real life right now? Oh my god, I love you guys, Top 10 and Landon. <laughs> Landon did not sing. He's awesome. I love it when he goes, is this real life right now? I love that. I got to have one of his shirts that say that. Okay. Anyways, here I go. Off. Oh, Ran line again. <laughs> oh, I am so ADHD right now. What am I going to do? Just a swing on. Just a swing on. Oh god, I can't get up. Uh, what happened? Hide. Danger lurks behind every cabinet, I guess. It's a cabinet? I don't, I don't know. Apparently danger somewhere else, too. Or is he after me? Fuck, I knew I should I should not have cussed. I forgot YouTube has gotten really strict. Sorry, YouTube. Sorry, people who are listening. Sorry this is so long. Also, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. I will follow you back. Oh, and TikTok. I have got a ton of videos on there. A lot of funny ones. I'm kidding. I don't have funny ones. I'm <laughs> just kidding. They are funny. I hope you think they're funny. I hope you even made it to the end of this video because it's really long. I wouldn't have even committed to watching this entire video. Why those damn cops gotta get off my- Oh, I forgot to tell you what happened. Follow me on Snapchat and you'll find out. Ha. <laughs> He's making a weird sound. That- 
He just standing down that, sitting down there on the road. I see him. Because the police station is literally right over there on the other side of that uh, building. Okay, anyways, too much info, I think. I'm going to go now. Oh, and everybody, happy holidays. Because, like, there's so many this month. And I'm not just going to say just one. I mean, I might only celebrate, like, one or two this month. But I know there are so many of you guys out there that celebrate other ones. So, and that's okay. I love you guys. Happy holidays. And, um, or happy not holidays if you don't celebrate any. That's cool, too. I love you guys all the same, man. You know that, right? You know you know that, right? You know it. Please say you know it. Please. I just want to make sure you know that. Okay? Bye.